Herzlich willkommen zusammen auf der Electronic Arts Pressekonferenz zur Gamescom 2011. Good afternoon and welcome to the EA Media Briefing at Gamescom 2011. I'm Jens Uwe Intart and today we're going to show you 10 of the best games you will see and play this year. It's great to see so many familiar faces in the room today. This is our third year here at Gamescom in Cologne and it's the biggest audience we ever have at this briefing. In addition to the 1,000 people with us here in Cologne, we are streaming the show live to more than 10 countries, including the UK, France, Holland, Russia, Italy, the United States, Canada, and of course, right here in Germany. You know, oftentimes, Gamescom is referred to as the E3 of Europe. Those who know, however, know <coughs> Gamescom is much bigger and it's much more international. It's just about the best place to bring together all of our fans and industry partners under one roof. Gamescom is my favorite show. And to start us off, here's a big announcement, a brand new title from EA Sports. Welcome to the greatest pitch in the world. No grass, no chalk, no referees. There's only two stones, three steps, and one goal. So own the streets. It's the ground of the youth, ruled by the feet of local heroes. For this beautiful sport, played as a beautiful dance. The rhythm of the street beats as the heart of the game. Good afternoon. My name's Andrew Wilson, and I am proud to now lead the very talented team at EA Sports. And I'm Gary Patterson, creative director of FIFA Street. You know, we've got some great stuff for you here this week, starting by announcing today that we have an all-new FIFA Street game in development at EA Canada in Vancouver. While FIFA is the most authentic game of 11 on 11 football on the planet, that's just one piece of the mosaic of football at EA Sports. In all corners of the world, the game is played in alleys, indoor courts, and urban spaces of all shapes and sizes. It's a sport that lives on the street. And early next year, fans will be able to experience it like never before when we bring an entirely different kind of fun, flair, and creativity to gamers. For the past four years, I've worked on FIFA as lead gameplay designer and creative director, working with the team to rebuild the FIFA gameplay engine. When we first decided to bring back FIFA Street, I was excited about bringing that same level of quality and authenticity to Street. And for the first time ever, the game will be built by the EA Sports Football Group. You know, it's an amazing sport. It comes in so many forms, from intense indoor action to stylish panners. And FIFA Street will be the most authentic street football game ever created, replicating the way the game is played all over the world. When we started working on Street, the first thing we wanted to do was immerse ourselves in the sport. So we sent a team of researchers across the world to discover how the game is played in 2011. In Amsterdam, it's all about style, where the 1v1 battle and the pana is king. In the UK, it's a physical, intense sport. In Rio, it's free-flowing, full of tricks, flicks, and flair. And it's a sport with its own superstars. So earlier this year, we brought some of the world's top street players to our motion capture studio to do motion capture where they performed the type of amazing skill moves that is now synonymous with the sport. You know, the team led by Gary is obviously building a game that is going to be the delight of millions of FIFA fans. 
They've been working for months to utilize the best FIFA technology, including the new player impact engine and the precision dribbling system. At the same time, though, FIFA Street is going to appeal to new fans who want something that's deep, accessible, and always fun to play. We'll have elements like wall play and also a new street ball control system that will replicate the quick, tight touches of street football. You'll be able to do authentic skill moves with over twice as many moves as FIFA 12. You'll be able to play popular 5v5, 6v6, and futsal modes. And beyond the core gameplay, this will be the deepest street we've ever made, with over 35 environments from London to Tokyo to Barcelona. You'll be able to play with the biggest stars from your favorite teams, and later this year, we'll be announcing a number of social connected modes that will be the first of their kind for sports video games. At E3, we announced EA Sports Football Club, our new live service that will create persistence and presence across platforms and enable progression across the various and different FIFA experiences. I'm pleased to announce today that FIFA Street will be connected to EA Sports Football Club. So when you play FIFA Street, no time is wasted since you'll be contributing to your single FIFA identity in Football Club. And there's more. A few weeks ago, we announced EA Sports Season Ticket, which helps gamers play more, play early, and play better. EA Sports Season Ticket is available for five titles, but as a bonus, I'm excited to announce that subscribers are also going to get early full game digital download access to FIFA Street as well. This is a brand new game that will be authentic, fun, and unlike any other street title we've ever created, and it launches early next year. Thanks to Gary and the team for all their great work, and here is the world premiere of the first FIFA Street trailer. Hi everyone, it's great to be back at Gamescom with Need for Speed. As you've just seen, Need for Speed The Run is all about a race for your life. Playing as Jack Rourke, you must battle over 200 of the world's most notorious drivers to be the first from San Francisco to New York. It is an epic race. The United States is massive, and so is our game. There's more than 300 kilometers of road in Need for Speed The Run, allowing you to race your way across a wide variety of locales, from scorching deserts to snowy mountains, grassy farmlands to dense city centers, rolling hills to lush forests, and much, much more. You'll also be forced to race through natural elements along the way. Elements like blinding dust storms, thick fog banks, and blowing snow, 
which will only further amp up the danger. With that in mind, today we're going to demo an all-new level in the run. This is Independence Pass in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Here, Jack finds himself racing head-to-head -head against another driver on a treacherous road, which has been closed for avalanche blasting. It is a volatile situation. Drew Hahn, our Need for Speed community manager, is going to take us through the level. Let's take a look. Thanks, Drew. Great job. Need for Speed the Run will be out in Europe on November 18th. Thanks, everyone. Have a great show. Guten Tag, everyone. Zuzaman. We have a lot of talented teams at BioWare making games of all shapes and sizes, spanning the spectrum of platforms and reaching our fans wherever they live. We're going to talk to you about four of them today. First off, Dragon Age Legends. This play-for-free social RPG was released on Facebook earlier this year to great success. And just last week, we brought Legends to Google Plus as a launch title for the new social project. It's a terrific way for us to introduce Dragon Age to a wider audience. Out in Virginia, the Bioware Mythic team is also exploring new gaming platforms with our longtime partners at Games Workshop. Today, we're pleased to announce Warhammer Online Wrath of Heroes, a new player versus player, play for free game for the PC. 
Wrath of Heroes is all about three-team, cutthroat PvP combat. 18 players go to battle, forming and breaking alliances on the fly, making the game incredibly dynamic and intense. It's accessible, it's fast-paced, it's highly competitive, and I can tell you from personal experience, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Let's take a look. Awesome. Wrath of Heroes is coming this fall, and it's free. You can sign up for the beta today at wrathofheroes.com. Now, on to Star Wars The Old Republic. Last month, we opened up pre-orders, and fan response has been incredible. In fact, thanks to your passion, we're setting a new EA record for pre-orders. Because of the rush, some retailers have already sold out of the collector's edition, and supply continues to be limited. We're very excited to get you into the game, and we're going to treat this game as a high-quality service, an ongoing, living experience. Our goal is to help set a new standard for an MMO launch. We're gearing up for it to be smooth right from the start. So far, thousands of gamers have been in early testing, and the feedback has been great. Story is proving to be a real differentiator and a game-changer for the genre. Let's take a look at one of the thousands of cinematic sequences in the older public, this time in German for Gamescom. Hört auch zu kämpfen, Padawan. Euer Leben war in dem Moment vorbei, als ihr hergekommen seid. Weil der Orden sich entwickeln muss und ihr seid schwach. Wer ihr auch seid, tretet von diesem Padawan zurück. Ihr seid gefährlich. Ihr habt meine Soldaten getötet. Wir greifen nicht an. Wir säubern und wir haben gerade erst begonnen. Legt eure Waffen nieder. Ich möchte euch nichts tun. Der alte Orden ist tot. Lang lebe der neue Orden. MMOs will be forever changed after Star Wars The Old Republic. You're going to care more about what happens next in your story as well as progressing to the next level. But you don't have to take my word for it. You'll be able to see for yourselves as we expand testing with beta weekends over the next couple of months. During these open testing weekends, you'll be able to play any class with friends or by yourself, starting with the Origin Planets. But we're not here to talk about Origin Worlds. We're here to talk about higher-level gameplay. Crafting a rewarding and replayable endgame is the key to keep the, uh, keep, keeping the community thriving for years. This is the part of the game for devoted MMO players who have reached level 50 and who are still looking for an epic challenge. And a key part of the endgame in the older public are operations, our version of raids. We want to place you and your friends right in the middle of a large, epic conflict that everyone remembers from the Star Wars films. Today, we're showing you the first operation in the game, the Eternity Vault. Here to take you through the live demo is Gabe Amatangelo, our lead endgame designer. And off to the stage on our right, we have our eight-person crack demo team from the dark side. Hello, everyone. So yes, we're very excited today to show the first time ever live gameplay from our first operation, the Eternity Vault. Now, this is live, and those eight players are going to have to work together in co-op to face the challenges ahead, so anything can happen today with that. But first, I want to say operations are for eight 16 players to get together to face the greatest threats in the galaxy. Now, it's varying difficulty mode, so it can be easy for the casual player and those not familiar with MMOs, and at the same time, offer a challenge for the hardcore players. So, going right to the action. Here we have the players. They're on a ship that just got shot down by the Eternity Vault's defenses. So they're forced to take escape pods to the surface. 
Now, the Eternity Vault is an ancient alien prison in which the, you know, the greatest threats in the galaxy are contained, old ancient ones, including the greatest force wielder seen in 20,000 years. Now, if he was to get out, then it'd be a threat to the Empire and Republic alike. So they're here to stop him before he fully awakens. I hear them enter my domain. Children unknowing, they will serve. So they've landed across the hostile surface. <laughs> Well, that's not exactly the co-op action I was talking about, but that's cool, killing the Tauntaun. So they're jumping right into it. They're focusing their hatred, loading their weapons. The Juggernaut's leading the charge. This guy's heavily armored. He's got a lightsaber in one hand, and he uses the force to deflect damage with the other. So his job is going to be to keep as much of the damage focused on him as possible. And they've, hurt the, they've hit the first line of defense here, which is a bunch of droids and two massive turrets. Now, of course, the Juggernaut can't weather the onslaught forever. So we've got an agent operative acting as medic, applying some med packs from a distance. The turrets, though, are aiming at various different members of the team. So the Sith Inquisitor over there is helping out, helping numb their minds from the pain, and also offering up some force shields. Well, those turrets got to be taken out because they can't last forever. So we've got the bounty hunters over there. We've got one over there, the power tech. Advanced prototype. He's got a bag of tricks, much like Jenga Fett. He's got grappling hooks he can pull enemies in. He's got jetpacks he can get into range. He's got EMPs. So he's working on that there. The other bounty hunter, a different specialization, mercenary, arsenal specialization, all about doing damage. Has missiles, iconic Boba Fett, death from above move going on there. She's attacking the vulnerable points in the turret. And they got it down. Good job, team. All right. Now, so they can shift some of their resources from defenses to offense to get ahead of these droids that keep landing. And so we've got the Sith Assassin. He's, uh, he's double-bladed, wielding a dual-wielded, or double-bladed lightsaber, rather. Much like Darth Maul. And he's got force pulls, so he can help pull them into range and gather them up. Looks like the Juggernaut's doing a good job with it there. And the Agent Operative can call in an orbital strike when they're all gathered like that. He radioed it in. If there's anything left, the Sith Inquisitor can finish it up with a Force Lightning. Now, their journey has led them here. The choices they've made have given them these different specializations. And this is only a fraction of the specializations players can have that come to bear here. And we've got the other turret, the last turret they're on. They've got the Lethal Marauder there, wielding a lightsaber in both hands. She can Force Leap, throw lightsabers, and get into range. Vicious, a vicious... Vicious damage dealer. My finest creation, machine of machines. Metal enemies welded together and allied toward destruction. So the challenges have only begun, and this is the second line of defense coming up. So the Juggernaut and Assassin jump in there. This guy is Annihilation Droid XRR3, formerly used to wipe out civilization, to reprogram to help contain the Eternity Vault. And he packs a punch. I have been armed with 24 distinct weapons technologies. All right, the team's been doing good, but it looks like some of them are getting defeated now, so we'll call it there. But good job, team, getting to the second line. All right. And with that, we're going to show you some other combat gameplay seen farther in the Eternity Vault. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Gabe. Great job, team. Now, let's jump into Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 3 is a classic, high-octane, alien invasion adventure, except it's deeper, it's bigger, and it's more challenging than ever before. 
The reapers have taken Earth. Other planets will soon follow. Only you, as Commander Shepard, can assemble the forces of the galaxy to stop them. The scale of the, act, of the action and emotion are at an all-time high, and you'll need to rise to the occasion to meet the challenges that will lie ahead. We're going to give you the tools that you need. All the special abilities and customizable weapons and armor you'd expect from a deep role-playing game. Combined with the mobility and through-the-gun experience of the best blockbuster action titles, Mass Effect 3 is the ultimate action RPG. And if you've been watching from the sidelines, you don't know what you've been missing. It's time for you to see what the hype is all about. This is all-out galactic war. And it's up to you how to choose how you want to save the galaxy. From the weapons you use to the special powers you evolve, and how you choose to lead your squad into battle. Over the coming months, we'll be taking a closer look at all the different ways that you can take the fight back to the Reapers. Mass Effect 3 arrives in Europe on March 9th, 2012, and March 6th in North America. Both, both Mass Effect 3 and Star Wars are playable at the EA booth here at Gamescom. And don't forget to sign up for the uh, Wrath of Heroes beta. It's awesome. Now let me leave you with the debut of the first gameplay video in a series, Mass Effect 3 Squad Leader. Thank you, everyone. Hi everyone, let's talk about SSX. You know, SSX is about a lot of things, but here are the three that we think make this game really amazing. Number one, we have built a truly enormous world to play in. Using NASA satellite data and powered by an interface inspired by Google Earth, SSX will let you drop onto every major mountain range on the planet. Second is the incredible gameplay you're gonna find when you actually get there. Race it, trick it, and something new we call survive it, are the pillars of SSX gameplay, and each let you defy reality in their own unique way. But number three is social play. We have put a huge focus into our multiplayer and our online design, and that's what we're going to share with you today. You know, online play has changed the way that we compete and play with our friends. And in SSX, we are going to revolutionize social competition with more playing and less waiting. We're going to give you all new ways to interact with your friends, whether you're online or whether your console isn't even plugged in. We're going to make sure it's fun and easy, but even better, there's going to be no lobbies and no need for scheduling. So we have two online game modes in SSX. The first we call Explore, and the second one called Global Events. Let's start with Explore. You know, Explore works exactly how it sounds. We let you explore every drop in the massive world of SSX, and we challenge you to do one of three things. Set your fastest time on race drops, post your highest score on trick drops, or descend as far down the mountain as you can in survival drops. Now, each time you rip off a personal best, we're going to upload a ghost of your run. 
These ghosts are a perfect copy of your run from the line that you took to the tricks that you performed. And these ghosts then live permanently in the game and are visible to all of your friends, even after you've turned your console off. So what's cool is that you can play against your friends at your own pace and on your own schedule. They don't even need to be near their consoles for you to be able to play against them. But this competition isn't just about bragging rights. It also feeds into your overall progression in the game, and it does this in two different ways. So first, as you take down your friend's ghost and move your way up the leaderboard, you make money. You can then use this in-game cash to purchase better boards and other gear to help you set even better records. But second, and even cooler, when your friend tries to take down one of your ghosts and loses, you'll also earn money for that, even if you're not plugged in. And that is Explore. Now, global events are also brand new, and they're quite different. These are ongoing competitions at every single drop point in the SSX universe, again, with no lobbies and no need for scheduling. But here, instead of riding against ghosts of past runs, now you're going to compete against people in real time. And that means that on every single drop in the game, there is a constant, ongoing live tournament. Some of these events last only for a single run top to bottom, and then they start again, while others can last for hours or even days, giving you multiple runs to set your best time or score. And global events can feature a staggering 100,000 riders competing at once. The best part is that you can dip in and dip out of global events at any time and as often as you like. You can even be competing in multiple events at the same time by posting a timer score in one event and then just jumping out into another one. You'll be moving up and down leaderboards of every event that you're in until time runs out, even if you've turned off your console. SSX also offers fully customizable events that you can easily set up for just you and your friends. With global events, you can truly own the planet. So in addition to these two incredible new game modes, we're also excited to announce today RiderNet which is going to be your personal guide through the massive online world of SSX. RiderNet is inspired by the amazing Autolog engine that powers online in Need for Speed. And here's how it works. RiderNet allows you to like your favorite drops, and then it'll recommend new drops based on those that you like. It'll guide you to where your friends are, or where they posted ghosts for you to beat. It'll even recommend new friends for you. And one of my personal favorite features, it even lets you vote down friends if they're just hammering you and you don't want to see their accomplishments anymore. So there you go, three things to remember about SSX. SSX is a revolution in social competition with Explore, global events, and recommendations powered by RiderNet. SSX is a massive world that lets you drop onto all of the planet's iconic mountain ranges. And SSX offers amazing gameplay that will appeal to any racing, trick, or action fans with the three unique experiences of race it, trick it, and survive it. We also just announced our pre-sale offers today on the SSX website, including an exclusive Elise gear pack if you pre-order from Origin.com. SSX hits the streets next January. We've got the latest build here today at Gamescom. Thank you, and thank you very much to my team back home. Now I'll leave you with an all-new trailer for SSX.
I think SSX looks great. Before we see the next game, I would like to acknowledge a few people here in the audience. Europe has always been vital to EA, and all of our top executives and uh, games leaders always like to come to Gamescom. So please welcome our CEO, John Riccitello, our COO, Peter Moore, our label president, Frank Gibault, and last but not least, our head of global publishing, Nancy Smith. Thanks for coming. Next, I would like to introduce two independent developers, associates in our EA Partners initiative. EA Partners is a division which helps independent studios to get their games into the hands of consumers all over the world. And that's blockbuster studios like Crytek, Valve, Epic, Starbreeze, or Insomniac. Today, we're going to showcase two great RPG developers, 38 studios from the US and Funcom from Norway. Please welcome Ken Rolston from 38 Studios. Welcome, Ken. Citizens of Earth, today we return to the world of Amalur. On behalf of its proud parents, New York Times bestselling author R.A. Salvatore, Spawn creator Todd McFarlane and your humble servant Ken Ralston, lead designer of such light classics as Morrowind and Oblivion. Let me welcome you to our epic high fantasy setting a glorious, mysterious, exquisitely beautiful and profoundly dangerous universe. Amalur is the massive, endlessly explorable, brave new world of reckoning, rich with narrative and endless choice. A world to love and a world worth saving. Our destiny system allows players to evolve their characters to fit their play styles. Our fast-paced, addictive combat system makes every combat encounter an enemy-pounding fun fest. Our extravagant variety of attacks, defense, and maneuver options, melee and spell chain attacks, unique monster beatdown animations, and hundreds of thousands of magical weapons. Our elaborate theater of combat, where every fight is a devastating display of fire, lightning, and meteor showers, well-timed rolls, parries, and brutal sword strikes our fast and fluid combat, immersive storytelling, expansive character development, all set within the jaw-droppingly beautiful world that is Amalur. Our world that, I'm proud to announce today, players will be able to experience when the game launches in Europe, 10 February 2012. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on the game and test out the combat for yourself here at Gamescom. Until you've played it, you just don't have any idea how much fun it is. So on behalf of all of us at Big, game, uh, Big Huge Games, 38 Studios, and EA, thank you for your support and your enthusiasm. Vielen Dank an alles, bis später auf der Gamescom. From the beginning, our fates were sealed. Decades of war gave rise to a new enemy. The losses were great. But one would die and be reborn. A hero with no fate, but many destinies. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The well of souls. The pursuit of immortality. Madness and rage. Madness and rage. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Only 
through battle can we break the chains that fate has forged. This ends here! Hi everyone, what if every myth, legend and conspiracy theory you've ever heard was true? The Secret World isn't your typical fantasy MMO. Here you get to explore our own modern day world from New York to London, from Egypt to Transylvania. But there's more. You see, in this world, everything is true. All the myths, legends and conspiracies are true. Players have to choose a side and join one of three secret societies, the Illuminati, the Dragon, and the Templars. These societies engage in a secret war, a war fought on battlefields and in boardrooms. Even though they stand united against the rising darkness, they remain divided in their pursuit of power. In the secret world, these three factions fight a bitter struggle to control legendary locations all over the world. At Gamescom, we are revealing our large-scale, persistent player versus player battlefields. The Secret World has no classes and no levels. Instead, we offer an incredibly deep skill system where players can mix and match between more than 500 different skills to create exactly the kind of character that they want to play. You can go anywhere, become anything, and play the game exactly how you want to play it. So, in just nine days, on August 26th, we will open our official beta registration. And on April, in April 2012, we will release the game on PC. Now, before I go, I want to leave you with the exclusive premiere of our latest trailer. Take a look at what players are going up against in the secret world. Thank you. Hi again. At last, FIFA 12. We are very proud of FIFA because it's both the biggest and the best sports game on the planet. 
In just a few weeks, fans from around the world will get their hands on final copies of FIFA 12, a revolution in gameplay and live service. So without further ado, please welcome the mighty David Rudder, senior producer on FIFA 12, for the latest news on the game. Thank you, Andrew. Hello. Uh, my name's David Rutter. I'm the line producer of FIFA, based out of EA Canada in Vancouver. Uh, speaking of which, uh, it's customary for me to uh, thank my team back in Vancouver for doing such an amazing job this year. Uh, tons of cool stuff, tons of innovation to make this uh, game this year. So uh, when we uh, finalized our plans for what FIFA 12 would be this year, uh, it became quite apparent that we had something quite special on our hands. And every month we've been uh, sort of telling our fans about all the cool things that are going to be going into this game this year uh, and turn it into the best game uh, in this franchise's history. Today, I get to finish that story and tell you more. So, our trinity of gameplay innovations this year are probably the biggest revolution that our franchise has ever seen. From the amazing fidelity of our uh, precision dribbling system, uh, the game-changing tactical defending, and also the near limitless variety of the player impact engine, FIFA 12 truly plays the beautiful game this year. And with true injuries surfacing throughout the game, you'll be faced with squad selection dilemmas, uh, especially in our all-improved career mode this year. Driven by the same drama as real football management, career mode this year includes our transfer deadline day feature, tons of improvements elsewhere, and also a new youth academy scheme. We're also delivering the next uh, generation of AI with our pro uh, player intelligence system this year. Um, unique player attributes will combine to allow our players to behave even more authentically than ever before. Long distance shooters like Wayne Rooney will push into space to position to take long shots. And playmakers like Kaka will be driving into space, looking for the ball and cutting through defenses with incisive passes. For online, our fans have already played over one billion game sessions of FIFA 11, and it's just going to get bigger this year. Our new head-to-head -head seasons mode is about you, your season, and your division. There are 10 divisions to play through with 10 games in each season to be able to try to be promoted and see how you're getting on on the world table. And connecting with your friends will be easier than ever this year with our new online friendlies mode. Every game against each of your friends will be tracked as part of a season, allowing you the opportunity to earn the ultimate in bragging rights. At E3, we unveiled the uh, heartbeat of FIFA uh, this year with the EA Sports Football Club. This revolutionary service will make every game relevant, connecting you not just to all of your friends, but to millions of FIFA gamers around the world. Our challenge system will inject storylines from the real world of football into your game. From launch, we'll be delivering these testing challenges into your game on a weekly basis to accelerate your progress. And last, FIFA Ultimate Team, where you build, manage, and compete with your ultimate team of footballing superstars. This year, we wanted all of our fans to experience Ultimate Team. So for the first time ever, FIFA Ultimate Team will be launching with FIFA 12 on disc. For those new to Ultimate Team, this year it's easier than ever to start building your team, managing your in-game items, and beginning your Ultimate Team journey. And for the millions of returning Ultimate Team players, you'll find added depth and challenges that will test your skills as a player and as a manager. And if you've ever played FIFA Ultimate Team before, you'll get the opportunity to get a special head start. On September the 20th, go to easportsfootball.com You'll be able to start your team, uh, even with some free packs. So ladies and gentlemen, that is FIFA 12. See you later. Thanks, David, and congratulations to the team. With FIFA 12, we're delivering the best playing FIFA in our history, with revolutionary live services and breakthrough social experiences to the massive FIFA online community. Here's three big dates to remember. First, FIFA 12 kicks off on September 13 with the launch of our live demo. It then launches uh, September 27th in North America and September 29th in Europe. Now, if you're an EA Sports season ticket subscriber, of course, you're playing a game three days early. The game is available for pre-order now at select retailers and origin.com. Here's the world-exclusive look at FIFA 12.
Hello, everyone. My name is Patrick Soderlund. Next to me, we have Carl Magnus Schroedson. We're so excited to be here today at Cologne to show you our game. I'm extremely proud of what our development team at DICE have been able to accomplish. Being together for more than a decade, we've grown from together and celebrated our successes. It's been a long and exciting road, and now we're at the final stretch of development. We're taking all that hard work and knowledge to create the best Battlefield experience ever when Battlefield 3 ships on October 27th across all of Europe. I've been working on the game for the last several years, side by side with the talented Battlefield team and the great Frostbite 2 team. And I must say that Battlefield 3 is the best authentic warfare experience this year. In March, you'll remember we first showed a single player where gamers took on the role of Sergeant Blackburn navigating through a bad part of town. We followed up three months later with a single-player tank mission in the vast desert outside of Tehran, where players got into the driver's seat as Lieutenant Miller. The single-player campaign has been shaped with the help of ex-SAS operator and best-selling author Andy McNabb. And we recently also announced that he's writing a book based on yet another playable character in the story, a Russian called Dima. But Battlefield 3's single-player is just the tip of the iceberg. That's right. Today we're actually unveiling an entirely new feature for the Battlefield series, our co-op mode. We've always been known for best-in-class multiplayer, and I think we proved we can deliver a fantastic single-player experience with Bad Company 2. Now we're introducing a new component to the franchise, and I think you're going to love it. This co-op mode features a full range of Battlefield gameplay, including ground and air vehicle missions, as well as tight urban air warfare. In the mission we're about to play, Hamid al-Sakir, a high-ranking officer in the PLR, has decided to defect. And uh, our objective is to find him and secure him and target him and bring him into the green zone. So let's get started with our live co-op PlayStation 3 demo. Okay, let's do this. Yep, are you ready? I hope so. All right. Right. Let's try to get s go silent at the beginning so that we don't get spotted. Roger that. Okay, I'll go in here. Watch out, there may be people in here. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Good. You go point. I'll point. I'll open the door. Okay, two guys there. I'll spot them. Yeah. I'll okay. take I'll take the guy on the left. I'll take the guy on the right. Okay. Three, two, one, shoot. Nice. I'm just going to pick up a shotgun here. Nice. Okay, be careful, be careful. Okay, two more. I'll spot one. I'll take the guy on the right. I'll take the guy on the left. Three, two, one, shoot. Nice. nice. I think we're going to switch to my screen on the big one now, so we only have one. Camera, take it out. Okay. Oh, watch out, we have a camera. I'll take it out. Okay. He can't move! I got him pinned down! Nice. The guy really don't like cameras, apparently. All right. Cover's oh, blown. shit. That's okay. spotted. Okay, get ready. A lot of people come. Now. You go first. I can but. One more, one more. Yeah. Be careful. Got your back. Oh! Holy smokes. You good? Reloading. Yeah, I'm good. I'll wait. I'm gonna wait. Another one. Oh, is that all you got? Oh, come on, baby! He's down, clearly. Somebody's a bit angry here. Another one. There's another one down in the corridor as well. He's still alive. I'll take that. I'm firing! He's down. I don't have enough range for my shotgun to get him. Okay. Okay, that's the safe room. Clear it out. It's clear. Get in. Nice. Let's get the guy. Okay, got him. He's here. Okay. Awesome. Let's get out. Let's get back to the Humvees. You got him. He's with us. He's right behind us. Okay, we're good. The street is clear. You can come out. Okay, awesome. 
Oh, there he is. Get his ass in there. Move. I'll take the left side. You stay on the right. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Let's escort the jeeps here. You two, on point. Clear the road. There's ammo on the left if you need it. Perfect. Okay, be careful. Um, watch out! Okay, there's people on the roofs. Can you spot tons of them? Spot it, thank you. I'm gonna go get the sniper rifle. Okay, I'll stay and cover you. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. I'll take the right side. Okay, I'll cover the left. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Behind the Humvee. I'll get you. I'm in cover. Stay out of cover, stay out of cover. Are you reviving me? I'm reviving you. Perfect. Okay, you're good to go. Stay out of trouble now, please. Okay, they're rushing us. Be careful. I'm on the right, I'm on the right side. I'm moving up. Moving up. Oh, tons of guys on the street. Got them. They're down. Moving up. Okay, good. There's more ammo on the left here. I'll go in and just reload. Oh, there's more guys coming down the street. Oh, was that you? That was nice. me. Of course. Who else? How you doing? Ah, oh, under fire. Oh, guys by the car, by the I'm car. Top, I'm top. I'll spot them. Oh, I got him. Got it. He's down. Oh, there's some more people there. Thank you. Are we clear? One up here. I'll spot him. You got him? No, oh, I got I him. It. He's down. Awesome. Wait, wait. And uh, that concludes our co-op demo. Nice work. Thank you. At Gamescom, all the attendees will be able to play this co-op mission uh, on the show floor. So uh, do take the time to play that. Uh, you and a friend will be able to experience these intense co-op missions, allowing you to compete for best times and high scores via the battle log. And if you play like me, you'll be spending many nights trying to crush your friend's scores. Battlefield series has always been a social experience, but we want to take playing together to a whole new level. And uh, Battlefield 3 extends the in-game experience to be accessible anywhere, be it on your home computer, the console, or your handheld devices. You will be able to enlist all of your friends to build a full network of Battlefield players. And in Battlelog's uh, newsfeed, we'll keep you up to date on current events going on in your network. And this can be anything from players logging in, ranking up, receiving awards, to unlocking achievements and new weapons. Battlefield keeps you in the know all in real time. It's certainly going to be an exciting launch this October. Through the power of our Frostbite 2 engine, we can deliver state-of-the-art graphics, destruction, animation, audio, and scale. It is the combination of all these elements, plus, of course, a kick-ass dev team in Stockholm, that allows us to give you the hottest shooter this holiday. We take extreme pride in delivering the best multiplayer experience, and Battlefield 3 will not let you down. So for the gamers here at Cologne, please stop by booth. Uh, you'll also get hands-on with a massive 64-player conquest mode on PC where you'll see the return of Jets. Uh, but we also have a new multiplayer video of that level, which is called Caspian Border, to show you right here today. Enjoy your, enjoy your show. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.
Brilliant. So that's Battlefield 3 coming to Europe on October 27th. And both as a player and as a publisher, I really can't wait for that date. That was our show for the day. I hope you all enjoyed it. For those in the room, thank you very much for coming. For those out there on the web, thank you very much for watching. I wish everybody a nice evening and tschüss.